Hey everyone, how are you? My name is Marla and I'm coming to you live to talk about hope. Now, what mother wouldn't do whatever it takes, whatever it, t it is necessary, even something, something sometimes seemingly impossible to spare their children from harm. What mother? <clears throat> I don't know. I've been a helicopter mom and I've been everything to my son. I, I, I watch him like a hawk. He is my pride and joy. Of course, out of love, every mother would. So when we decree, so when the decree had gone out to kill all the Hebrew male infants in Egypt, a grueling decision made by jo Joshua to place Moses in a basket and set him adrift in the river. It was Miriam, <clears throat> Moses' sister, however, who walked along the banks of the river waiting for someone to find him. When the Pharaoh's daughter found Moses, Miriam hastily approached her and offered to help find a Hebrew nurse to care for the baby, knowing all along this caregiver would be his real mother. So hope, hope is pushing past the impossible and dissipating fear. We don't have hope right now. But I'm here to tell you that you need to find a way to hope for the best. And push past what's going on today. Even though Miriam, and this is a popular Bible story, uh, Osborne Books and More has the story um, retold in one of their children's storybooks. Um, so even though Miriam was probably only around the age of 12, my, a year older than my son at the time, she managed not only to see that Moses was saved from the river <clears throat> and Pharaoh's death sentence, but to safely return him to his own mom for the time being. Of course, all good things come from God. And it, it was God who spared Moses' life. Yet, it's worthy of a note to know that he did so through the hope and courage of a young girl. This is indicative. This incident illustrates two of Marion's qualities. And those are audacity and intelligence. Hope is pushing past the impossible and dissipating the fears. And it can be just as much a blessing wanted for another as much as for ourselves, Miriam knew it was going to be to tear her mother apart if her infant son was taken from them. She did what she knew was best to keep the bond of a mother and the son close for, and for Moses to be raised with Hebrew heritage. And it is with us today that it is very important for our children to be raised with whatever heritage that the parents want them to be raised. And this message is for parents. Parents, is it okay for the government to tell you 
what values your son should be raised with. Our school system is not is upending whatever value we parents hold. If you're Muslim, be prepared because our school system is sharing their values with your children and your children are conflicting with the values of your home. We parents, we need transparency and we need parent rights. Parents have the full, the primary role of educating their children in the way they should go and training them to be good citizens. And we need to get back into those schools and tell those schools what we want. But it's not going to happen because we have standards that are coming from the federal government. And all schools are implicated. <clears throat> so I urge you today to please vote for me. Vote for Marla Fernandez a paralegal that will make sure your voice is heard. I swirl ideas all day long in my head. I talk to people and I love talking to people. And your ideas become my ideas. And I share them. I'm inclusive. I learn and then I take action and I'm positive. And right now, we need to cleanse our leaders, get rid of the leadership and start over with competent leadership that puts you first. And I need you to reactivate. So join my email list and donate today and pray. Thank you. If you're a person of faith, regardless of what faith, pray. Thank you very much.